Hi and welcome to another Heco Resolve special. We're doing an unboxing today of the X5C1 upgraded version aerial drone. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. It's available for Amazon for about £30. It's rated as one of the best value for quality drones you can get at this price range. So uh, let's get it open. We're joined today with special guest, Edgar, and uh, our special camera uh, lady, uh, Demon Jellybean. And uh, so yeah, let's go. It doesn't have any sealing tape, which makes life a lot easier. <laughs> Teamwork. <laughs> it's in a coffin. It is in a coffin. So it's ready to be buried when I break it later. It's got some stuff taped to the underneath. So the drone comes complete. That is smaller than I was expecting. So let's get it out. We'll have a look at that. That is the drone. That is that is very cute. <laughs> that, that, that is a very cute drone. Okay, so that's uh, comes to it's quadcopter obviously. Um, I don't think it comes to standard of guards or does it? It does. It comes with yeah, its um, some of the, the blade guards. If I uh, headphone users uh, beware, and I'll just rip all of that stuff out. That's the, everything out of the packet. This is the controller that you get with it. It doesn't have any extending aerial, but it has apparently an effective range of about 50 meters. Um, it is unidirectional controls on the thumbsticks, which might take some getting used to. We'll have a look at my test flight later. Um, I don't know what anything else on it does. It, there's no labels. <laughs> we'll probably have to read the manual. Or, you that, know, that one says power, so that turns. Yep. There we go. It that. uses, uh, I believe, three AAAs, it's possibly pretty, four AAA batteries. It's pretty light, isn't it? Yeah, everything about it is very light. It's. Um, well, you'd want that to be light, but this doesn't matter so much. No, I'm full heavy once batteries. I'm in. sure once we've got the. Uh... Yes. So, also in the packet, as mentioned earlier. Might want to put the blades on. Oh, blades are. Blades are. Yes, these are spare blades. It comes with a pack of four spare blades. That's actually really good because I expect to crash this a lot. <laughs> and I can replace the blades now, fortunately. I might not be able to replace everything else I damage. But you'll get to see that later. <laughs> or right now when we edit in footage of them crashing repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's a really cool thing that comes with the blade guards. That should help protect them a bit longer. Um, it does increase the weight slightly, which I believe reduces the flight time slightly. It's a five to six minute flight time as standard, um, with the standard battery that comes with it, which is a um, 3.7 volt, 500 milliamp LiPo, um, which is not... I'm guessing it's inside us, really. Ooh, it comes with a micro SD adapter for your computer, so you can get your footage off. This looks like a USB... It's a USB charger. Let me see the connector. Yeah, that's for the wi -Fi. Ah, that's interesting because um, I have friends who have this and they say it comes with a charger that looks like it's from a uh, toy bin. Um, and they say the first thing you should do is buy a new charger. Well, but if they've changed it now, so it works the, the, USB the, charger. The thing, the thing about USB chargers, um, USB runs on five volts mm -hmm. and a, anything above a two cell LiPo, because each cell of a LiPo is 3.7 volts. Uh -huh. So a two cell LiPo is 7.4 volts, which is higher than the five volts that you put through USB. Mm -hmm. So any drone that's using a multi cell LiPo will not be able to charge from USB, but a single cell uh, like this one will be able to charge from USB. So it might be that they've uh, it might be just that they've improved the design and we've got a better version than, than your friends have had previously, or it might be that they're using a multi-cell LiPo. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just a 3.7 cell according to the specs. Yeah, this so, one uses yeah. a single cell. Yes. So, um, in this case, that sounds that should make it a lot easier to charge. I've got a USB charger down there, that's fantastic. Um, it apparently takes about 40 to 45 minutes to fully charge. Um, I don't believe we'll have any charge from the offsets. The camera is a uh, 720p HD camera, which it may have just broken. It, it doesn't turn. Oh, you trust trying to get it off. Oh, is that where the battery is? Yep. Yeah. And if I can, I think the battery cover is captive, which is good. You don't lose the battery cover. Um, and that is a that is a tiny battery. And then also, it was it's difficult to get at. 
but it comes with a 4 gigabyte micro SD card. Yes, I had heard that, which is good because that means we'll be able to test it. I don't think it can take much higher. Um, I think it is limited, but I don't know what the limit is. Depends what the uh, circuit, uh, what, what, the, what the controller... Yeah, I couldn't find any information on it, but somebody else I know who has one tried to put a 64 gig memory stick in and it didn't take it. So, um, but this, yeah, this should be fine to get some footage on. Fantastic. Okay, in this case, we're going to get this uh, unit charged now, and next you see of us is us flying it. Welcome back. We've had our uh, the drone charged now. We're going to um, get it put together so that we can give it a test flight. Uh, we've got some batteries handy. We've got the battery for the drone. Yeah, the cell. The cell for the drone. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's why I have geeks on board. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a look see how easy this is to put back in. The battery plugs in somewhere. So what, what we oh, have... Oh, I see. That's it just there, I'm guessing. To, to point, show it on camera, and I'll use the included screwdriver to uh, indicate, indicate things, yep. uh, is that this plastic bar here is a uh, retaining piece, and the battery goes un the, the cell goes underneath there, and then at the front here is the connector, which is a shaped um, connector, so they only can go so the connector can only be attached in the correct One orientation. Yeah. So the cell goes in first, in that and that in. should go in far enough that you can reach the connector. I've got big hands and this isn't too difficult. It, it's quite small, but given its pl uh, placement, it's not too hard yeah. to get to. Okay, so that's in. Yep. And so this should just go back in. The plastic is quite thin, so you might want to be a little careful in replacing the door. It's getting, it, getting it lined up and then it slides in and it clicks okay, into so place. That's back in place. And it does hold quite firmly, which is sort of what you want. Um, this is where the SD card goes into the back of the camera. Uh, we currently have it in place in the USB uh, adapter. Yep, so that will go into a PC and you can read it just like a memory stick. Yep, so we're going to get that into the drone now. It goes in in the correct orientation, so 4 gig sign up, and that just clicks into place just like that. Okay, so that's the drone on. There's a little power switch just there. That you power it on and it comes on. We'll check the instructions momentarily because I believe there's some orientation going on there. I wouldn't have uh, turned it on with my hands in the area where the blades go. <laughs> well, there's no batteries in the controller yet, so. But still, it might have done something if it hadn't. For health and safety, turn it on like this. Yeah. Hold. <laughs> the, the, the stand is a very good place to hold it. Anyway, to uh, do the controller unit, there's a retention screw and a clip. That you pop out, ah, and it out. takes four, four AA, batteries. AA cells to make a six volt battery to run the control. I'm good at this. I should not be doing it. And that's beeped at us, so I'm hoping that's a good beep. Now, the battery tray holds in with the clip, so you don't actually need the screw, but we'll pop it in anyway. given that we have it, um, it's a good. We have it till we lose it, and when we lose it, it doesn't matter too much. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, it's a good option to have the t both systems, because if the clip breaks, you have the screw, and if you lose the screw, you have the clip. So you have to do two things wrong to be able to make this not work. Probably isn't that hard to do two things wrong. Yeah, well, <laughs> we, we usually manage. Okay, so we've got this. Um, we'll be back momentarily after we've read the instructions or orienting. We'll be right back right now. <laughs> okay. We're going to now install the uh, blade guards onto the drone. Yep, so we're going to make sure that it's off. It's off. And I'm going to also turn off the uh, save batteries the, uh, controller. And I'll pass these to you one at a time. Okay. So it looks like they just slot into place. And that there's a small screw which screws into place on each one. Yep. Which is actually quite a nice system. That's very simple. They're shaped on each blade so that they fit in perfectly. Ed well, yours did. <laughs> no screwdriver, you can get the those three screwed in while I try to get this. <laughs> this one in place. Ah, got it, yeah. it. I just had it slightly misaligned. Uh -huh.
Ooh. That works. Okay. So. So the lift trim seems to be a bit. Actually, we should probably have it with the camera facing because that's probably right left. Unless it's. Okay, so the camera is actually, so th this is, for me, my orientation to this. So. Cool, that, that is tricky. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. <laughs> you want to go? Yes. <laughs> and now I can experience terror. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! <laughs> <Frottle> down. <laughs> Should we test that outside? Yes, let's <laughs> put it on. Uh, it's a bit finicky. Why won't it now? I did this last time and it seemed to work. Just all the way up. I did. Wait for it to beep. It did. Fiddly. Yeah, because it's the only way to get it to work and... Okay, it's not working. Again. Why is this so hard? Cool. And that's solid. Recording? Yep. Okay, uh, I don't know which way is video, but... Don't run it when it's upside down. It wants to go that way, so let's let it go that way. <laughs> You're trimming it further in... Yes. Let's call it there before it gets too wet. It's like pointing this way. It's red forwards. Yes. The front of the camera's forward. Oh, because I always thought the green was forwards. So well, I was, you, you I, weren't positioned it correctly. I was trimming it the wrong way. Oh, that may well, be well, one of also, our problems. If you don't know about um, the calibration, the calibration. In fact, I'm tempted to know. Yeah. You plug the battery in yours. Yes. Let's test the frequency thing, because if they're both on the same frequency, it's going to get a bit crazy. So don't sync all. Oh. Well, yeah, I guess we both can. Me, that was me. You, you, they you do yours now, because we both pressed them at exactly the same time. Go. Oh no, I'm seeing both of them. Yeah, right, you don't control anything. Right, now column you go. Yeah, as you go. Alright. So they're on the same frequency. Sync yours first, separately from mine. No, no, that would that one. Now. I don't know, it depends on the camera it's because they were both in ready to sync to controller mode. Yeah, yeah. And I synced so, them both. So that's quite cool because that means they're reasonably clever enough to tell the difference. Yeah, they pair, basically. Yeah. So I should be able to go. Oh. Whoa, yeah. Cool. Now, obviously, the trimming is no good if it, that's not been calibrated. Absolutely. The trimming was doing nothing. Well, you changed your trim by knocking this light panel off again. <laughs> when I first crashed it, it fell apart outside. 
because this is another thing that I noticed when I first got mine. I was like, oh, I can't fly it. And as soon as I calibrated it, I was like, okay, that's a bit. Is the red light on the camera? Is it that way, sir? You're the So I've got no SD card on there, right? Ah, green light. Red light. Okay, so. It is now backwards to my expectations. Have you learned how to fly it yet? <laughs> nope. Because it is pretty difficult. Keep, keep oh. in mind, I had virtually no battery power the first time I did this. Now, the thing that's... Oh, yeah. How you do it? The thing... I'm actually quite impressed with how good control you've got from it. So you're being cautious with the power of that. Forgetting which way is the front. <laughs> now, yeah. now, do your, now do your intro. <laughs> this is Hanny Sam, but I'll get off that. Welcome to another episode of Unboxing Special with Pepper <laughs> <laughs> Gently, gently. And I'm doing them there. Oh, you're getting the twists in. Oh, no. It all changes. It all changes. Left is now right. Now, you're about the automated flips as well, don't you? I have no idea about Does this have auto commands? Clips. It's one of these buttons. Is, is there enough room in this room? Stop, kill it, kill it, kill it. <laughs> yeah. uh, I pressed it the wrong way. Thank you all for joining me for another unboxing video. If you liked it, please hit that like button and share with your friends on as many mediums as possible. The more the better. And um, yeah, we've got some more ideas and treats in store for you soon. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.